very warm welcome and namaste to everyone. This is Priyam, and today we are going to talk about Professor Sukhvir Sanghal, who was a great artist from the Bengal School of Arts. He was known for his wash paintings, his unique ideas and themes, and his paintings have left a forever impression in our hearts. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Mrs. Vimal Balachandra. She has been a student to him for three years, and she is here to share her stories and experiences with us. A very warm welcome to you, Vimalji. Can you uh, tell us a brief about yourself and how did you happen to meet him? So this is a 40 years back story. I was 12 years old and my mother detected that I had some art talent. She was looking for a teacher and through a friend, she found out uh, Sangalji's uh, address and we went and met him. Those days are not the days of uh, mobile. So I think it was a landline call that she must have made to him. And uh, the moment we were entered that hall in which you're sitting, my mother knew that this is the right teacher. There's no need for any more uh, searching. And uh, that's how we met him. About myself, I am basically an architect, but uh, now I am just a homemaker. Uh, I still love painting and I have had some exhibitions and I still enjoy painting. Uh, I have two children and uh, yes, I love everything connected to art and uh, enjoy this uh, journey of being an artist. That was lovely. Uh, we want to know like more about your experience with him as a guru, like his teaching style and uh, what, what made it so unique and like how many paintings did you make under his mentorship? So the teaching style of wash painting is a time consuming uh, process, but uncle's way of teaching was to first focus on drawing. So right from starting with the features of the face to the profile face, and ending with the drawing of a child, which is difficult. He taught us uh, drawing was the first focus. So the first year we spent in learning drawing. So initially the first thing is every pencil, when you hold the pencil, you should hold it two inches up uh, before the, edge, uh, the tip. So he used to make a mark and uh, that's where one has to hold the pencil and write from uh, shaving it to uh, teaching one to use a sandpaper to sharpen it. All that was the first learning. And uh, that's how we learn not to press down on the pencil and draw. So learning to draw and drawing from the mind, not from copying. Today's teachers only tell, give you pictures and they copy. He never did that. He, his system was you eventually will learn to express your thoughts and feelings through your drawing. But initially, you have to go through the process of learning everything. So he would draw it out. And my biggest joy was to see him draw because the way he would draw, it's like a, his hand would, such beauty. It was so beautiful to see that. So uh, to dance on the paper, literally his hand and what long hands he had once showed me, this is the hands of an artist, so almost this so long his fingers were. He was made for art. So uh, yes, I made three paintings in three years. The first year was just drawing. The second, there was a system. The first drawing, the first painting, second and third. The first was the human figure. Second was uh, plants or trees. And third was stone. So that was the system. And after that, we were free to do whatever we wanted, whatever our expression was. So uh, that was uh, the thing. What a, I mean, what can I say about him? Agar uncle sun rahe upar se to keh rahe honge, Latti to itni siyani ho gai hai, mere baare mein baat kare ki. Mere ka, sir, Guru Brahma, aap, aap ke baare mein mein kuch bhi nahi bol sakti. Just love umartta hai mere man se. O chair dekh ke, akko mein asu aake. Akhir mein mein, I couldn't be with him. But anyway, I must not think of that. He was a very loving, very kind teacher. He never wanted to find fault in your way of teaching. His way of teaching was jo achai hai student mein usko aur ubhaare. But more than teaching drawing, he was teaching insaan kaise bana, achhe insaan bana. So he was always focusing on that. And kai baar, hume bohut saare baate karte the, three hours class, three days a week. Or kitti sari baate, drawing chalti rehti thi aur baate bhi chalti rehti thi. So, mere khayal se, 
इतनी कंपैशनेट और इतने काइंड मुझे पता है उन्होंने सिर्फ दो बार डाटा मन में आज तक वो बात याद है क्योंकि कभी उन्होंने डाटा नहीं और कभी क्लास नहीं मिस किया कितने दिन एक एक क्लास भी मिस नहीं किया पूरे तीन घंटे ही वुड बी देर कितने बड़े बड़े आर्टिस्ट दे विल नॉट इवन बॉर्डर टू इन्फॉर्म लेकिन ही नेवर मिस्ड वन क्लास कितने सारे प्रेशर्स कितने सारे प्रॉब्लम्स व्हेन आई जॉइंट एट दैट टाइम हिज हिज वाइफ वाज सफरिंग फ्रॉम कैंसर शी वाज वी कुड हियर हर एट टाइम्स हर क्राइंग इन पेन आई यूज्ड टू सी हिम सिंक इवन फर्दर इन द चेयर एंड मन लगता था कि बहुत कठिनाई में है बट ही वुड नॉट स्पीक ऑफ इट आई वाज आल्सो देयर आई थिंक व्हेन शी पास्ड अवे no class was missed every class went on so 10th ke padhai ke wajah se gap ho gaya aur uske baad fir continue nahi kar paye kyunki engineering ki padhai aur uski preparation itni zyada thi ki koi bhi class continue nahi ho paya so this is my experience as a child 40 saal pehle i was 12 years old then thank you that was uh, really uh, nice for you to tell all those the emotional part also and the details like how he made you to hold the pencil and draw uh we want to know like uh, about his wash technique what was the technique he used to follow and how is it different from the existing ones for me to compare with anybody existing i can only say that The, my knowledge is little sketchy there what i understood from his technique was that we keep on painting in light washes on with watercolor and we uh, we immerse that painting in water so what happens is whatever is a mud component in the pa paint goes away and only the pure uh, hue is there on the paint so this we keep on repeating until the paint becomes part of the paper and his technique ensured that watercolor will not fade unlike normally watercolors are very a single wash is what uh, uh, watercolor artists will use for a uh, landscape and all that but in his technique the watercolor will not fade because it is now part of the paper so i don't know how many hundred years it will last it will last several hundred years is what i assume until the paper itself starts uh, you know going but uh, with if you are protected with glass i think it will not and uh, what his technique i don't think anybody is doing in india today i do i doubt it his technique is unique and uh, that is why it is a heritage to be preserved and for all of indians to at least humanity to see this exhibition of his works to understand it so it's very different from everybody else yeah that is true so uh, the wash technique as actually came from the china and the japan and uh, he further um gave it a indian look based on his uh, eras theories so uh, how how did he inspire you and uh, something like uh, what made his work so special so every painting of his i would watch very carefully and uh, it was a uh, how can one say he inspired me as a human being because of his nature his nature was so good so what i think is when i met him see he talks about in his book uh his book which now i have finally able to read because meri hindi thodi better ho gayi hai being a south indian ghar mein hindi nahi bolte the to hindi ki perfection nahi thi and uh, hindi books padhte nahi the school ke alawa but uh, mere ko ye baat samajh mein aa rahi hai abhi कि जो तीन गुण होते हैं दैट इज रजस तमस और सत्व इसमें इंसान गुजरता है तो मैं जब उन्हें मिली थी ट्वेल्व इयर्स की उम्र में तो मेरे मन में रजस का ही था बिकॉज बहुत हलचल थी उत्पुथान था आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू ग्रोइंग अप एज फ्रॉम अ चाइल्ड टू अ वुमन सो लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ऑफ गोइंग ऑन देन दैट वॉज अ डिस्टर्ब स्टेट then you come to tamas jab main dusri baar unke class mein join ki to by then mere life personal life mein bahut sari tragedies ho gaye the to us waqt ek dark stage mein main thi mere man mein clarity nahi thi bahut sare emotions the tabhi unhone dusri baar sikhaya main unhe do baar maine maine unki classes join ki ek baar 12 saal ki umar mein aur ek baar when i was 23 or 24 us umar mein 
तब 23, 24 में मैं बहुत ज्यादा डिस्टर्ब थी कुछ पर्सनल रीजन की वजह से दैट वॉज माई रजस माई टमस स्टेट बिल्कुल डार्कनेस थी मेरे लाइफ में और सात्विक स्टेट आज है जब मैं मैं इस कोशिश में लगी हूँ कि अपने आप को प्योर बनाओ अपने आप को अच्छा बनाओ अपने आप अपने अराउंड पीस रखो सब सबको अच्छा कर सब सबकी भलाई के लिए काम करो सो so, मेरे ख्याल से ये तीन गुण अब भी मुझे मैंने अभी प्रियम से बोला था मैसेजेस में कि आज भी वो मेरे टीचर हैं इस बुक के दौरान मुझे ये सब समझने को मिल रहा है जो मैं उस वक्त मैंने नहीं पढ़ा लेकिन आज मैं इसको डिटेल में समझ रही हूँ कि वो क्या थे सुखवीर जी क्या थे और वो क्या कोशिश कर रहे थे अपने पेंटिंग्स के थ्रू तो ये बहुत बड़ा जर्नी है और तुरंत नहीं समझ में आएगा और अभी भी हमें बहुत समझना है कि उनकी पेंटिंग्स के थ्रू वो क्या कहना चाहते थे और क्या एक्सप्रेस कर रहे थे वो अपने पेंटिंग्स के थ्रू understand them and his his deep philosophy and uh, ideas behind them so do you have like any favorite painting from his collection if you want to talk about it no i used to love that sagar sarita sagar sarita was the name of that painting i used to just love the drawing of that and i also like the the falling lady uh, that was i think uh, that is two of my favorites i could watch them but i also like one more painting which keeps coming in my mind in which uh, there is a man and a woman with children and the man's hand is just touching the woman's hand like this now there was deep meaning in that because if you think about it husband wife ke bich mein hazar jhagde hote bahut kuch toofan aata hai wo pura scene mein pura it's, it's a full toofan uh, ka scene hai wo to usme jo it represents jo couple ke life mein ek toofan aata hai उसमें वो आखिर तक अपना साथ नहीं छोड़ते लेकिन हाथ भी नहीं ठीक से पकड़ते सो मेरा इंटरप्रिटेशन उसका यही है ऑफकोर्स एवरी क्या उनका रियल मीनिंग था आई कान से बट मेरा इंटरप्रिटेशन ये कि चाहते हुए भी ठीक से हाथ नहीं पकड़ना मन है वहां पे लेकिन ठीक से हाथ नहीं पकड़ना बिकॉज तूफान इतना ज्यादा है तो वो भी एक बहुत सुंदर पेंटिंग थी और मैरिज uh, प्रोसेशन को तो कितने बार देख सकते हैं उसको उसमें डिटेल्स बहुत ही और आपके पीछे जो पेंटिंग है दो डे एंड नाइट की पेंटिंग वो भी मुझे बहुत अच्छी लगती थी दैट दिस थिंग अंदर जाके उनके घर के अंदर जो पेंटिंग्स थी दे वर नॉट दैट क्लियर टू मी जो बाहर थी उसी को मैं ठीक से समझ पाई राइटिंग यू मैं टॉकिंग अबाउट द तूफान and in between the husband and wife there is a child and he is the one who basically joins both of them i think that was a thing that he tried to show in that okay, okay. that was nice so any but any particular story that you have in, that you want to share with us yeah one story which is a funny story so i am just a 12 or 13 year old uh, child and so uh, unhone uh, we were drawing the male figure तो मेल फिगर में एक एडम सैपल होता है बट उनके फिगर्स में उन, उन्होंने जो बताया था उन, उन्होंने नहीं ड्रॉ किया था वो लेकिन मैंने ड्रॉ करना शुरू किया तो ये आसमी कि ये तुमने क्यों ड्रॉ किया तो मैंने कहा ये मैंने देखा है मैन में होता है तो वो इतने अम्यूज हो गए उसमें उतने हस, वो हंसने लगे तुमने देखा है <laughs> तो so तो मुझे फिर रियलाइज हो कि हाँ मैंने देखा इसमें क्या कुछ गलत हो गया क्या तो लेटर ऑन ऑफ कोर्स आई रियलाइज की ही वॉज इंजॉइंग की बच्चा कैसे ऑब्जर्व कर रहा है ह्यूमन फॉर्म ही वॉज इंजॉइंग दैट दैट इज समथिंग स्टोरी विच स्टेड विथ मी बहुत सारी स्टोरीज हैं मन में मुझे ये बहुत इस बात की बहुत खुशी है कि मेरी माँ ने उनको मेरी पेंट हमारी जो गैलरी हमने खोली थी सृष्टि आर्ट गैलरी पहली आर्ट गैलरी थी लखनऊ की उसके इनाग्रेशन के लिए उन्हें बुलाए और ही वॉज देर तो ये मुझे बहुत टच करता है कि इतने साल हम लोग की लाइफ में गैप हुआ तभी वो आए तभी उन्होंने आशीर्वाद दिया और उनकी स्टाइल के अकॉर्डिंग नहीं थी वो एग्जीबिशन वो पेंटिंग्स उनके स्टाइल के अकॉर्डिंग नहीं थी फिर भी उन्होंने उसे प्रोत्साहन किया सो दैट इज आई थिंक फॉर मी थिंक वेरी मीनिंगफुल और बाकी तो चालीस साल पुरानी कहानियाँ आई हैव फॉर्गॉटन सो आई कॉन्ट रिकॉल मच Thank you so much. 
for uh, it was really a pleasure to hear your stories and uh, the experiences that you shared, especially the emotional ones and the, his, his techniques and styles. And I really hope that this, uh, this is like informative and uh, it helps to be useful for the viewers. And uh, thank you again very much. I really wish all the best to everyone and just namaste. Namaste, thank you for this opportunity Priyam and I wish all of you all the very best. It's a very difficult task uh, to uh, what you are doing. And I would request all people who are in and around Lucknow to come to this art gallery that you have created and see the paintings for themselves. That's all. Thank you.